Hi, I'm Sarah Jane from Natural Heating and today I'm going to do a quick run through video for you on the TT20 Streamline R. It's one of our most popular cylinder type freestanding units. It's got a good clearance distance to combustibles. It sits just 150 mil forward of combustible walling. Um, so it's really popular for internal walls and going skew across corners. When you fit it in a corner location, it can go as far, as close as 125 millimeter across the corners off the walls. So it will fit nicely on a 900 millimeter teardrop hearth. Now this is the big RTT22 and what I want to show you in this one is these stoves come as standard with an automatic door closer fitted. I don't like automatic door closers um, because if your door is hot, I don't trust people not to let go of it and that come back and bite you. It's um, quite easy to, when your installer fits it, to undo the automatic door closer, which is what we always recommend in these units. And the fitters that fit for us typically take them out. So this one here, this stove here is actually a few years old now. It's been a lit model in the shop for quite some time. We take it in and out as we put other units in on test, but it comes back in on a frequent basis. So when you open the door with the door closer removed, it will stay open nicely for you. Um, this stove has a good sized ash can in the base, which also comes with a lid. So when you go to clean it out, you can take this outside when it's cold without making a dusty mess, which is really quite handy. There's also a metal plate that fits on on top of this base. So if it's pulling too hard, need a bit more air control, you can put that plate on um, and burn wood just on a bed of ash inside the base. It's got a full vermiculite lining in here. Okay, and this is the air control at the bottom. So, so I've got the automatic door closer out of this one. Um, this has got a log store model on the R. So I've got some logs underneath and it's heat shielded, so it's perfectly safe to store logs underneath it. It's got a big tall firebox and a good sized door opening. So your standard size log. Okay, so we're going to start a fire by placing a couple of small kiln dried logs and on the base. Excuse me, because I'm trying to do this with one hand and video with the other, so it's a bit wobbly. But basically, we want to build a crisscross Jenga type stack of kindling. I usually use about nine pieces and just pop a fire lighter in there and some more kindling on the top. Now, with the air control, this air control moves from left to right, but when you go to light it, you need to press it down just a little bit and move it into overdrive into boost mode. So, can't light matches with warm hand yet. You just use a gas torch to light it. And when we light the fire, just leave the door closed, but slightly open and don't latch it for the first few minutes until the kindling burns down and the fire takes hold. While this fire is getting established, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about these. Um, it's not a complete cylinder, as in it's not round, it's more elliptical. Please ignore the rope jammed in the collar. This is, well, it is gas tight, but it's only in here as a test rig. So this, this flow system does get pulled in and out. Um, it's literally just here to show you what it can do. It's not meant to look pretty. Okay, well, this is heating up. I'm going to tell you a bit more about the T Thermatec TT20 Streamline R. Price-wise, I've not found anything else in the cylinder type category that outperforms this stove on looks, um, performance, capabilities, and distance to combustibles. It's really good value for money, and it's pretty much like a Volkswagen car. They never give us any trouble. They always do what it says in the tin. No, it doesn't have the finesse of some higher end models, maybe like your Huam um, or your Charlton Genric or your Contura or any of these other ones, because, but it's not the same price bracket. It's a thousand pounds less than most of its competitors of that field. And the cheaper ones, they're just not worth the money. Um, now the fire is establishing itself, we'll shut the door. 
But this runs pretty much like a Volkswagen car. It's just honest. It's reliable. Well, my Volkswagen honest. Anyway, who knows? It's, it's, it's good. It's honest. It's reliable. It will never let you down. It does what it says in the tin. It handles well. You know what you're getting. It's, it's just a really good all-rounder. It may not set the world on fire or have the biggest, curviest glass in the world. But it also, the glass isn't a fortune to replace if it breaks. I think it's about £180 for a replacement glass panel. Whereas if you break a glass on this baby, it's going to cost you about four or £500 for a glass on one of these. So all in, when you look at the overall costs of parts and things, it's pretty damn good. Um... So we've got it in overdrive at the moment. I'm going to leave it in overdrive until that baffle clears. You'll see it's starting to black up a little bit, but it's coming up to temperature nice and quickly. Now, one of the impressive things with this stove is the log size of what you can put in it. It's got a really good internal firebox size, as I'll show you just shortly. Um, I mean, this is a standard 10 inch, well, they measure about nine and a half inch log from bag of kiln dried logs. And... This here is a 10 inch from what I buy in from my local wood merchant, Chris. So you can see the difference. When you're buying cow dried, you typically get all sorts of small stuff. When you buy from your local wood merchant, look at the difference. No, it's like a matchstick. How long does a matchstick take to burn compared to a big block of wood? Is a lot quicker. So when you're buying kiln dried like this, you're going to rump through it compared to a longer, slower burn on the equivalent logs you're going to get off Chris. All right. Size wise, that is a 10 inch lock. Size wise, this is a 10 inch lock. When I go to put a log, in this stove, I can fit to, I can fit a 12 inch probably in there, but 10s are just lovely. I'll knock it down out of overdrive now, it's starting to heat up. This little stove next to it, however, that I got in for test, I'm not even gonna light it. Now it's a pretty little fire. Um, the over, the, it's got an automatic door closer, which is really sharp, really quick, really quick, too quick. Easy to disconnect, bit squeaky bit lightweight the whole fire is about 300 pounds it may look cute but it's about 300 pounds more expensive i think than the termitech but look my log doesn't even go in the door and it barely goes that way and do you really want to risk smashing a glass when you've got red ember in there to me, this is just a fail. It doesn't fit. I mean, a clock, a clock, um, Broxford has got a small firebox, but even that will take this log comfortably with twice. Whereas with the Thermatec, we're not up to temperature yet. I'll put another log in there. Oh, look, lots of space. So for its capability of firebox size, it really is very, very good. Okay, so I've left this to its own devices for the last 40 minutes or so. I'm going to done some work and come back to see what we're doing. As you'll see, the handles are cool touch. There's no heat in this handle whatsoever. They are cooled. It's a twist mechanism. Um, we'll open the door. It's burning nice. There's no, there's no smoke spillage out the door. Um, this is on a short chimney and it's already compromised because I've got three flues off of it. So if it runs on here, it'll run anything. Thermatec will run on a three and a half metre flue system. So it's ideal for shorter buildings. I've just put a small kiln dried log in there. Okay, so I have left this to its own devices for about the last um, 40 minutes. I'm just putting a couple of small kiln dried logs in there. i shut the door. The door is total, door handle is totally cold. It's air cooled, hollow, never gives us an issue. I see the fire picks up nice and quickly in the firebox. There's my air control down here. My air control lever is also cold to the touch. Logs are catching up nicely. Just back off a little bit.
Good amount of flame in there. Nice clean glass, right down to the bottom corners. Lovely little flame picture on this fire. Now the logs have caught. I'm gonna turn now down a touch. And as you can see, there's a really nice control on this unit. Now that is far too low. There's no deficit stop in this unit. So I'll just turn it back up a little bit. And it'll burn nice in the middle like that and stay clean. Turn it up a bit more. Now this isn't in the overdrive position. In the overdrive position, don't push it too far. We don't want to end up over here. You just push it down gently a touch and it moves over about an extra two inches. As you can see, we've got a complete bonfire in there. That's just for getting it started. We don't burn it like that all the time. We'll fill it click. That's the high end of normal burn. Again, that's just too fast, it's pointless. Turn it right down and then back up a bit. Let the air kick in. That's a nice burn on fresh logs. Could take it down a touch more. There we go, you can see the gas is combusting off at the top. Fire burn in the bottom, a little bit more, still a touch too low. That's a nice balance on a fresh log. Once the carbon's burnt off the surface, it'll um, steady itself a bit. So, all in for just over one and a half thousand. It's our best selling cylinder model for that value. Um, as a comparison, the one next to it is a lovely looking little unit on a five inch flue rather than a six inch like the Thermatec. But it's never going to be a favourite of mine because the firebox opening is just too small. The area you've got to get in it is tight. And um, a 10 inch log is so close to the front that you would be at high risk of smacking the glass. That noise would drive me crazy as well. Nice bling spring. This is not the Thermatec, by the way. This is a stove called the Oval. And I'll never light it in the, stove, in the shop because the firebox is just too tight. It's too small. It's more money than the Thermatec and just goes to show what good value for money the Thermatec is at its price point. Oh gosh, it's hot in here tonight. Two stoves burning to have a play with. The Thermatec to do a new video and the Charlton Bake Chef, which is a brand new product release. I think I've got the first one that's out there. Um, big oven stove with a hot plate on top. I'm gonna have a go at playing with this this week, it'll be good fun.